the president often talks about the need to take a bottom-up approach. And that, I think, connects very well to this idea of, the, of different regions have different strengths and different assets. And if you have a one-size-fits-all, top-down approach, you try and make them all look the same. And having a bottom-up approach to it um, respects and encourages the individuality of different regions and asks them to look at their strengths and then to build upon those in terms of their planning, their visioning, and their, their modeling for their future. And so we have very much had more of a focus on creating programs that will set national goals, um, try and catalyze investment um, in certain areas, but really leave it to the local communities and to the regions to figure out for themselves how best to accomplish those goals. And I think in terms of the governance question, the bottom-up approach can be very instructive because what you, we heard yesterday from um, folks in the Northeast Ohio and Puget Sound and Minneapolis St. Paul, where they were taking regional approaches to developing business plans and economic strategies. But if you look at the composition or the governance of each of those three areas, it was very different. And a bottom-up approach kind of gets at the governance issue by allowing the region in a way to self-identify and then come to the federal government, come to other um, investors or, or other places to get resources and to collaborate on that approach. 